Hello everyone, Von Marie here for Cat Scrappiness. So let's make a shaker card today and it's a little bit of a different shaker card for me. It was my first time using the mini slimline full front shaker pockets from Cat Scrappiness and so I am going to make that with you today. So I'm going to be stamping the birthday quokka here who is so cute and um, I'm going to be coloring in with my Copic markers. This is a um, 110 pound cardstock and I use some Memento black ink and I'm just coloring him brown really simply and I will have a list of the Copic markers that I used down below if you're interested. Um, he's really really easy to color and in case you do not like coloring or not so much, we do have some um, ephemera, which I'm excited because I, I just recently got some. And I do like to color, but every once in a while, um, it's always nice to use some ephemera for some quick and easy cards. And with these front shaker pockets, really easy to make a shaker card using the ephemera and then put a shaker card together in no time. So maybe I will do that. Um, I do have a lot of fun um, shaker bits so I will have to do that. <laughs> so he's really simple and I like him and I do add some accessories so I'm gonna add a banner and I really like this long banner here um, that says happy birthday b-day birthday um, so I think it's fun and if you have the dies to cut everything out then you will have a die to cut out this banner I also like the other um, sentiment which is a different kind of banner and the confetti is really really fun too. And I'm going to be adding a party hat next and so I will stamp that and then I am going to be coloring those in also. and. So here is the pattern paper from the Birthday Quokka 6x6 paper pack and I'm just using the balloons pattern paper here to kind of, um, that's where I got my colors from and I like, I like um, the, what do you call it, um, well I like these uh, fun bright colors but I know there's another name for it um, when you use the the red, blue, orange, green combo. And I think it's really fun. And then I will be coloring in the hat also to match. And you can also use a different color for the letters. Um, I chose to just color them simple and basic and I did add a, a same color brown the darker brown that I used um, just to give his nose a little bit extra color and then I believe I gave some cheeks and ears I colored those in too with my R20 marker and then I will color in his tongue I believe and almost finished coloring in the banner and then next the hat and it's really fun too if you stamp a bunch of these images and color them in at the same time as well I always don't think of that until now <laughs> But um, that's a good way to get your coloring done quicker and faster to batch some cards. And then after I color in this hat, I will be using the coordinating 
birthday quokka dies to cut everything out. Van is still looking to match. That paper pad has so many fun patterns. There's even some nice um, solid color, like basic ones to match. And so Cat Scrappiness always has the best paper pads. And so I'm trying to see how my pocket will look, how my um, mini slimline is going to look. And so now I'm going to use my magnetic. Um, this is my Anna Griffith. Um, this is an Empress die cutting machine. And I'm going to have to get some new plates because these ones are getting warped. And for my other die cutting machines, of course, I have extra plates of those, but not, not of this one. These are still okay. It's just the magnetic board that looks bad. And so here are the shaker components, and I'm just putting them on my pocket here, and then I cut my paper. Um, these pockets are three and a half by six, so I just cut my paper slightly smaller, and then use your bone folder to really press down. I had a lot of shaker bits, so I really wanted everything to be nice and secure. I didn't want anything falling out. I did make a couple of these, so um, I am just, and I might show, I maybe I'll show the other one, I'm not sure if I, sh if I have that on camera. It might just be plain. And just trying to press down using both hands here. Once you secure it on your card base, you're fine, <laughs> nothing to worry about. And, and I did have some bits there. And then you take this plastic off on top. So it's like saran wrap. And there it is, really cute. And next I'm going to be adding my images and I'm gonna use some foam tape. And I'm going to be popping up this quokka and then I'm not sure if I, I don't have my card in front of me, but I'm not sure if I pop all of them up so we will both see together. <laughs> Usually I don't pop everything up. And hopefully you are enjoying your summer. Um, it's still really hot where I am, but I'm looking forward to cooler weather. And just taking off the backing here. And I kind of wanted him at the bottom, so. Um, and then I will put my banner. So I think it was just enough images for this mini slimline so that you could see all those shaker bits. Now I have some dots in there and I will have everything listed um, down below so you can shop. And so I did add a skinny foam tape to that banner and I'm looking for his party hat, so I did pop up his hat, I believe. And I think it's really cute. I love all the colors. And so that is a fun mini slimline card. I hope you like it. I had so much fun making this card, so I definitely will be making some more. And here is a close-up for you to see, and it stands up to, I believe I'll put it to stand up for you. There we go, and, and then here is the other extra that I made. So thank you for joining me today, and have a wonderful day.